outside this morning, but it's nice. When the sun comes up, it warms up fast. It's kind of cool. Or hot. Neat. It's kind of neat. The sun's very very bright. You can see where it is. He's right there. What are you guys? Cans. What are you guys arguing about? He's like, where's the cuss? I'm like, those cans, those cans, those cans. He's like, where are the cans? Just get him a cup. He can't reach back there. I already got bowls out for you guys. You have a bowl here too, Noah. Oh, All right. Everything with the water bucket is done. Do you get out and put it away? Noah's handling the water bucket now. Now my shoes wet and it stinks. And we're going to go do Hell's Revenge. I don't see how this is a fossil. Hey, this is mine. <laughs> fits perfectly. Is that your stolen dinosaur track? Yeah, it fits perfectly. That's plastic. Well, this is Hell's Revenge somewhere out here. I'm not sure where we're going from here. Who does? But we're going somewhere. We're going somewhere. We are walking up to Hell's Gate, I think. We saw a sign that said go this way to go to the exit. And I looked at the map and it looked like if you bypass Hell's Gate, it looks like you, you miss like half of this park area. I don't really want to miss half the park area. I should have put sunscreen on. All right, so we are here. Oh, you know what? Oh, I got it. Hell's Gate's up here. Why is it called Mickey's Hot Tub? We're gonna come up here. We're gonna go up here. We maybe do Hell's Gate, we maybe don't. Then we'll go back down and around and go through Mickey's Hot Tub. Mm -hmm. Right. The whole trail is like along these amazingly panoramic scenic views. It's courteous to let the, uh, especially the experienced guys go ahead. They don't need to wait on us. Especially since we do a lot of stopping. These guys are seriously equipped. How many more? There's eight of us total. Okay. Four here. Yeah, we got four more. One, two. It's interesting watching them flex underneath. That guy was smoking. Smoking's bad for you. gotten to Hell's Gate yet. So far, we've had some kind of scary obstacles, but we haven't had any obstacles that have been 
any more difficult than what we experienced at fins and things. Now, maybe since we have a little more experience now that this is seeming not as intimidating, as long as you take it slow and watch your line. And I know that sounds like I'm an experienced guy talking, it works. But I got a ledge here and I gotta, I gotta check it out. Is someone taking a picture? I literally you saw someone take, take a picture of our car. Right hey. That's what like the sliders that. are for. Thank you. Some of these places you just can't see on the other side. You just have to get out and look. All right, this is Hell's Gate. There's all these cool looking Batmobile things. I don't know if these are like, I don't know what these things are. I have no idea what that is. Full of bat pins in the back. Funny, I haven't seen hardly anybody come in, but apparently everybody was out here early. for me. I don't know what that was. Where we're going. Just to kind of give you an idea. So this is Mickey's hot tub. I've been told that this isn't the real, no, we're not doing this. It's funny because I'm talking, everybody's looking at me like I'm in a library. I need to be quiet. The driver can't hear me, so I know his concentration isn't being broken. I saw this guy, he was uh, guiding people up from uh, Hell's Gate earlier. He's maybe one of the leaders here. This isn't something I would ever try. Don't put your trash in my pocket. And what's this stuff? I'll get one more try. Uh, we're just not getting a lot of traction on this. That didn't sound good. <laughs> <laughs> traction, 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 <laughs> yeah. It's interesting, but I let these sheep guys pass me earlier because I was trying to be courteous. My thought was is that I would be going slower than these guys, but I think what's going on is these guys are actually like an instruction group and they're moving pretty slow and then they keep stopping at these obstacles and there's no way for me to get by and so I'm forced to wait behind them. I'm not complaining, don't get me wrong. I'm just saying, we need to get going. I need to be on the road to Flagstaff right now. We should have been out of here by now. to a point all of the jeeps i think it was uh they got lined up there and kind of but they left me some some space to get through we need to get on the road to flagstaff so we kind of need to wrap up our you know adventures here we've just been doing oh, I need to correct my line here i've been using crawl control off and on sometimes it's just kind of easier just to kind of gas and brake through it you know so we need to be checked in to Expo West. It says in the check-in instructions, if you're later than 7 p.m., check-in's gonna be closed and then we'll need to find a hotel locally. Noah, how's it going for you? Do you I'm, like this? Yeah, I do, but I'm kind of hoping we get to stay in a hotel because <laughs> if we stay in a hotel, it has free breakfast. I'm looking forward to uh -huh. it. Just about done. 
Hello camera, shooting all these nice pictures. We are in the very, very final stretch of the uh, Hell's Revenge, and we're gonna get on the road to Flagstaff. The Jeeps are catching up to us because we are going really, really slow, but we're not gonna stop anymore, so we're gonna pick up the pace. All right, that was Hell's Revenge. Man, everything inside my car is super, super, super dusty. Oh well, it is 124. That would be 1224 Arizona time. We don't even have to stop and eat, but we've got PB and J's in here. We may just, here comes the Jeeps, right back behind us. We gotta go with the trailer and we gotta hit the road. to the expo. Wasn't sure we were gonna make it on time. The instructions explicitly said that we should be here before seven and if you're here after seven, plan on making arrangements to camp or sleep elsewhere. We got here at about 6.40. We're here, camp is set up. It's about nine o'clock. Hi there! And we're getting ready to go to bed. We are? I thought you said I couldn't go to bed.